100%. Arnold, you shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait, it's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no! That might be on fire, too! I'm on my way! One hundred percent. Power's off. I'm really sorry. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mum or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now granddad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon with some food. Me too. I'm really hungry. Oh, here's Sam now. I wonder what he's brought. Oh. But... Well, I never... It can't be. <gasps> Bella lasagna. Bella lasagna? Bella lasagna! It's a so good to see you all. And when Fireman Sam said that you had an emergency, I fired up my pizza oven. And she made as many pizzas as she could. Hooray! And I hear that you're becoming quite a little chef, James. I can give you cooking lessons any time you like. Brilliant! Maybe we can start our own pizza restaurant. No way, chef. No, 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 chef. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Sausage rolls! Stay calm, we'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab onto this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and very licky. Uh, 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 uh. 
Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way! Dogs are naughty! You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steel here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Oh, yes, really. Ah, you may have to remove me first. So <laughs> oh, dear. Garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in the garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Air, 100%. Benny, you shut off the electricity at the mains. He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. Oh, I'm really sorry, Sam. I, I will be more careful in future. And Norman Price, next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I've put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh. Really? Norman Price as Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous stuff as my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> 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 Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? The name's Sam. Fireman Sam. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Proud to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favourite chocky treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes. Maybe a few. Mystery solved. <gasps> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. 
Go get them, boys! I'm proud of you! I see him, boy. Oh, dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? I'm so sorry, Mum. I forgot you told me that the fox was a wild animal. Because I thought it looked like a dog and I opened the cage to feed it and it escaped. You mean that fox? Yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere and... Back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. <laughs> well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves? Oh, uh, pandas! Fish! Unicorns! Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steele has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone lies down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter, Ready, Sam. Air 100%. Keep back, everyone. One at a time, take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> All the children are out, sir, but keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. for some quiet time. Sorry, Sorry Uncle Sam. Sam. We were so busy trying to be better than each other that we put everyone in danger. Just remember that candles must be kept at a safe distance away from other things. And always keep an eye on them. They can start a fire really easily. But uh, I've got something to cheer you up. Toffee apples! Yay! Yay! Wow! Toffee apples! You? And you? And you, and... Yes, you can have one, sir. You've waited long enough. <laughs> oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> wow. 
Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello. Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be. Turn it all the way up, Joe. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that. Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo! Move back, everyone! Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. So sorry, my guitar machine caused a fire, Sam. Luckily, no one was hurt, Mike. Now, have you two got something you want to uh, say to each other? Let's get, get the, the band, band back, back together. together. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Juggling was great, but I missed your dubba dubba boof boof. And I missed your plang plang plangity plang. Wait a minute. I never played plang plang plangity plang. And I never played dubba dubba boof boof. Oh. I always played plang plang plangy ching. Well, I never heard a ching. And as for your blum blum blibbity blum, I played blum blum blibbity. There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. Penny, we'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Air, 100%. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch the football, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Sorry to ruin 
the celebrations, Norris. But <laughs> have you forgotten our long-standing rule? Winner buys dinner. Uh, uh, what's that you say? Bacon and maple syrup, eh, Norm? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a barbecue shrimp, thanks, mate. Uh, smoky pepperoni, please, Norman. Spinach pizza for me. Hold the cheese. Can I get a calzone? Roll twice with a crust no more than 45 millimetres thick. Can I get a shepherd's pie? Not a bad game today, Norris. Thanks, old sport. Weren't too terrible yourself. My ball. ball. What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. They get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Norman Price. The bat was nothing to do with it. Caves can be very dangerous places, Mandy. You must always stay with your group and never wander off. I know, Fireman Sam. I I'm sorry, everyone. And bats really are harmless, Norman. Look, here's one. Ah! I'm being turned into a bat! You're certainly flapping about like a bat. Study bats. <laughs> I can study Norman the Bat instead. <laughs> <laughs> A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Betty's in that shed. Firefighter, Sam. Air, 100%. This is 
All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh. Thank you, Sam. Well, Eddie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. Oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly said Station Officer Steele's Nelly. Um, I think you'll find that's Betty. Station Officer Steele's Bessie, a blaze! I'm sorry, Mum. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches, and that is one thing you must never do. I'm no fireman, Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! Told you! Norman! You said it was what brave knights used to wear. You are in even more trouble now, Norman Price! Come here! There you are, Station Officer Steele. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine and gleaming. Oh, there's a bit of dirt here, sir. And a bit of dirt there. And that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir. Him a shout, he'll be there to help you out. So move aside, man.